Hey there, draft fans. It is LB3 back again with another draft profile video. In our last video, we took a look at Penn State wide receiver KJ Hamler, and it was a lot of fun taking a look at such an electric playmaker. We did Hamler because he got second place in a poll I had ran, and now we are doing the third place vote getter in LSU safety Grant Delpit. Delpit was one of the top prospects coming into the 2019 season, but fell out of graces with some struggles overall. Are people overreacting, or did Delpit just fall back to earth? Let's take a look at the tape and try to find out the truth. To get started, we are going to take a look at Del Pitt's athleticism using Player Profiler. Wait a second, where is everything? Alright, we don't have anything like that for Del Pitt, so in this case there is no looking over his athleticism. Del Pitt on the field to me though looks like a very good athlete with elite range for safety. But instead of blabbing on and on about that, trying to fill the space I normally use for athleticism, let's just move into the strengths, weaknesses, and try to ascertain his athleticism through the tape. Like last time, Del Pitt is a relatively simple evaluation because the things that he does well I think are valuable and simple to look at, and things that he struggles with are also fairly simple and unlikely to be fixed completely. So with that out of the way, let's just dig right in and take a look at his strengths. And the first one is the thing that I think will immediately be useful for him moving into the pros. That is his ability as a center field safety and his overall range. There are not very many safeties in the NFL with the ability to play deep and effectively help shut down the deep attack, and while Delpit has some questions about it, he's overall a really good center field player. He can play deep and has good instincts to read the field and the quarterback's eyes to make plays on the ball. He's able to get sideline to sideline, tracking the ball and making plays on him. This is a rare set of traits, and if he can reach his full potential in regards to this, he will be a huge help to a team. Let's take a look at a couple of plays as examples. In this first play, Delpit is playing the deep safety, and even though the cornerback is beaten deep, he is all over it the whole time and is able to track the ball all the way down the field for the easy interception. On the second play, we'll look at it from two different angles. He's able to see the ball thrown, he's able to quickly react and track the overthrown ball down the field where he is able to make a very good diving catch and keep his body in balance for it to count. This is a beautiful play and a great example of what he does well. The next strength that we're going to take a look at is the other way he can be deployed, which is essentially as a slot defender or a flats defender on the outside. He also has the ability to man up against tight ends, but should not be having to man up against wide receivers, obviously. Being able to work underneath his zones, he can also be very effective at this, as it matches up with some of the things that make him a good center fielder, and that he is very good at reading the quarterback's eyes and baiting them into throws where he can use his athleticism to make a play on the ball. Delpit, while he has some question marks in terms of run defense, can very effectively be a big nip nickel at times dropping down to the box and being a plus pass defender. Take a look at a couple of plays, and the first one, he is playing against the wide receiver in the slot, and when he flips back to the ball, Delpit dives down, he's able to intercept the ball on the curl route. On the second play, he is playing the slot on the long side of the field, and he's able to read the quarterback's eyes, and once again is able to undercut the route and make a beautiful interception. The next strength that we are talking about is his aggression in the run game. While we will talk more about his tackling a bit later, I think that divorced from that is his aggression. When having to go against the run, Delbert does not hesitate to come down from his high safety spot to lay the boom, or when he is in the box getting into the crowd and trying to make a tackle. On this play, we see him going against the screen, instead of maybe trying to stay back and prevent the big play, or anything, he dives right in and is able to help make the stop for a very short game. Now we are done with the strengths, and we are going to move on to the weaknesses. Like I was talking about with the strengths before, Delpit has a very clearly defined set of strengths and weaknesses. So this will be relatively painless and quick. So with that in mind, let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that we will talk about is he is overly aggressive in coverage and overly trustworthy in his athleticism. Delpit largely is a good sideline to sideline safety, but at times, in the effort of overthinking or trying to bait the quarterback, he waits too long to turn and run with the ball. While this can work in his favor at times leading to big plays, at times he can definitely think too much of his athleticism, and that can allow some bigger plays. If we take a look at this play against Georgia, he just waits too long to turn and run, and instead of being able to make a play on the ball, he almost has a catch if the wide receiver was able to bring it in. The next weakness we are taking a look at is something that ties in with one of his strengths in his aggressive and run defense, and it is just poor tackling technique. A big reason for Delpit's fall in the lead up to the draft was how he has struggled in tackling efforts and missed a lot of tackles due to poor technique. It is not a case of him not being willing. As I mentioned in the strengths, he's very willing. The issue is his technique when tackling, which is unfortunately something that is not very fixable. It's something that could be worked on with good coaching, but it's not very fixable. So the question is how much do you value what he does well in being a great center fielding safety, and how do you weigh that against his struggles in tackling? Now we're on to the section where I talk about my overall thoughts on the player and where he should go in the draft. Delpit is a player who did have a minor drop-off in play from 2018 to 2019. 
However, it was not so bad it warrants the drop from top 10 to outside of the first round like it seems like he might go. Delpit is still an elite cover player with the rare ability to play center fielder in the modern NFL. Players with Delpit's skill set are rare in the NFL, and if he hits his full potential, he can be a game-changing weapon in the NFL on defense. Does Delpit have some concerns tackling and allowing big plays occasionally? Yes, he does. But will I accept those warts with the potential positives he brings to a defense as he can completely change the coverage ability on a defense on his own? I would be happy with my team taking Delpit pretty much anywhere outside the top 10, and if that sounds crazy, then just think about where he was before this past season and think that he really didn't play that much worse in 2019. And if he does fall the second round, like it seems like he may, then it will be an absolute steal. And even though my favorite team, the Bengals, already have a free, great free safety in Jesse Bates, I'll be more than ecstatic if they paired him with another great ball hawking safety in Grant Delpit. I think that he is a great player who has just been overthought this draft season. For anyone who listened and enjoyed, make sure to subscribe as there will be a lot more of these videos coming. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to respond to everyone. This video on Delpo was done because he got third place in a poll, link in the description of one of my previous videos. And next I'll be doing a video on Christian Fulton as he placed first on the poll, link to my last video. Thank you very much, this has been LB3 Scouting. There will be a lot more great stuff coming, so make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a thing.